The um, the phrase I use is that when a new environment goes around an old one, the old one becomes an art form. And whenever you see a new art form popping up, like Model T's or old coach lamps, you know that a new environment has gone around them. Bad news gives people a survivor emotion. There's a great euphoria pours off the bad news item that makes people who read it or see it feel, ah, there but for the grace of God go on. This survivor emotion is very necessary for newspapers and uh, news reports. Also, it helps to sell advertising, which is all good news, and is therefore very threatening. Good news threatens people with change. Bad news merely enables them to enjoy the grief, the grief of their neighbors. All news is fake. It's pseudo-event. It's created by the medium that is employed. All news is fake. It's pseudo-event. It's created by the medium that is employed. All news is fake. It's pseudo-event. It's created by the medium that is employed. There is no honest reporting on any medium. It is all fake, necessarily created by the medium in question. There is no honest reporting on any medium. It is all fake, necessarily created by the medium in question. There is no honest reporting on any medium. It is all fake, necessarily created by the medium in question. Well, that's not true, but go ahead. It has to be. No, can't. You can't. Newspaper news has nothing to do with TV news. Many there is news this morning that two Marines have been killed in southern Afghanistan. They died in action yesterday, and six civilians died in a helicopter crash today. Meanwhile, do you know that uh, most people read ads about things they already own? They don't read things to buy them, but to feel reassured that they have already bought the right thing. In other words, they get huge information satisfaction from ads far more than they do from the product itself. I want a view of the water. I want a cabana. I want lobster. I want to see a show. I want to go shopping. Here, anyone can afford high maintenance. Laughlin, Nevada. It's like you own the place. Poston on the phone. Sergeant Major Jamie Poston is joining us now by phone from Fort Hood. Uh, Sergeant Major, are you there, sir? Yes, I am. Can you tell us uh, uh, what's going on? is heading is quite simply into a world where the ad will become a substitute for the product and all the satisfactions will be derived informationally from the ad and the product will be a merely a number in some file somewhere and uh, so the new environment that has created much of our uh, strange new kinds of attitudes toward old environments is the new information environment that we have put outside, outside ourselves by electric means.